This is an early look at a game in development. Vern, the shape of fantasy, is still in the process of being made. Things will change between now and release. Oh, and apparently it wants me to use a controller. It is, uh, it is October of 1887 in an alternative Earth called Hamira. You are Jules Verne, not the writer you know, but a scientist trapped in the middle of a dystopian world war. After a terrible shipwreck, you end up trapped on a mysterious island where your extraordinary journey in search of Atlantis' deepest secrets begins. Cedric's strange machine unleashed my memories, lightening the dark void of my stay at the island. The Annabelle Lee was my first assignment as a scientific officer at the American Empire Navy. In addition to the war's own menace, there was a rumor that a huge sea monster was around, sinking ships. Despite my skepticism, three weeks after our departure, in the dead of night, that rumor became a reality by pouncing on our ship and in a matter of minutes wrecking us. By some miracle, I survived. Luckily, the currents brought me to the island. Later, I understood that my extraordinary journey started right there. Chapter 3, An Extraordinary Voyage. Oh, so we are really just starting in the middle of the game. Where am I? Story mission shelter. Oh, God. The attack. The monster. That sea beast came out from beneath and rammed the Annabelle Lee, ripping apart the hull like a rotten fruit. Why is it so hard to recall? Let's make, go to the left and make sure we didn't miss anything. It's destroyed. Fixing it will be difficult. I mean, do you really want to be on a boat that small with the sea beast can rip apart that kind of ship? <laughs> There's no sign of life. Maybe I will find someone inland. Oh, I need food. You and me both, dude. You and me both. A petroglyph. It's ancient. It must mean something. An old letter seems to be written by an outcast. It must be important. September 19th. Night and day, I could think of nothing but how I might destroy some of their monsters and their cruel, bloody entertainment, and if possible, save the victim they should bring hither to destroy. And what could one man do among them, when perhaps there might be twenty or thirty of them together, with their darts or their bows and arrows, with which they could shoot us true to a mark? I could with my... Find the other two letters. I need something to clear up this thicket. This place is a paradise, but not a soul around. I hope this island will not become my grave. You're appearing to be an old man. He's got pretty good knees. <laughs> There's something written on it. In this place, I arrived on September the 30th of... I cannot read the year. A book. 
The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. I can't say I've read it, and the author doesn't ring a bell, but somehow it feels familiar to me. Well, at least I will have a distraction. Another petroglyph. The symbols are different. A lift. A former inhabitant made it. I hope that if he is still around, he will be friendly. However, it's been a long time since this was built. It might work. If only I could find a tackle. What? What now? I need to break the lock. Now you have in your inventory the tackle to activate the lift. Go to the basket and place it. There's a series of marks. It could be a calendar. If we take each of the small ones for a week and the big ones for months... Mon Dieu! It's a whole life. Uh, the earth shaking, November 27th. I was so much, I was so much amazed with the thing itself, having never felt the like, nor discoursed with anyone that had, that I was like one dead or stupefied, and the motion of the earth made my stomach sick, like one that was tossed at sea, but the noise of the falling of the rock awakened me, as it were, and rousing me from the stupefied condition I was in, filled me with horror, and I thought of nothing then but the hill falling upon my tent, and all my household goods, and bearing all at once, and this sunk my very soul within me a second time. After the third shock was over and I felt no more for some time, I began to take courage, and yet I had not heart enough to go over my wall again for fear of being buried alive, but sat still upon the ground, greatly cast down and desolate, uh, greatly cast down and disconsolate, disconsolate, greatly cast down and disconsolate, not knowing what to do. Great. Remember, you can use any item from your inventory by pressing action when you use it where its use is required, but it only works with the right item. The best way to tie the rope is to use the clove hitch, a sailing knot. I really turned the music down, I swear, but you wouldn't be able to tell. Interesting. I must find a shelter first. He's got kind of a scary face. I'm safe. Not in bad shape. 
It could be a good shelter until somebody rescues me. These trees have fruits. And back there, there's a stream of water. Now I need to rest. Tomorrow, with a clear ahead, I will find how to fix it. I spent two days completely alone. Despite that, the island was familiarly comfortable. It was a beautiful place. All my life, I dreamed about freedom and exploring the world. Maybe that was the way destiny had to give me the chance to fulfill my desire for adventure. What the hell? I wasn't wrong. I must find out what that light was. Lame imagination. Investigate the hill. I need to break the rope. But the island has changed. What happened? An elephant and a balloon? What's going on here? They feel familiar. Maybe a dream. Five weeks in a balloon. On January 31st, 1863, Jules Verne saw his first novel published, Five Weeks in a Balloon. The story describes a thrilling journey through the unexplored territories of Africa, led by an eccentric doctor, Samuel Ferguson his faithful lackey Joe, and professional hunter Dick Kennedy. In order to find the sources of the Nile, these aeronauts decide to cross the continent, traveling in a balloon named Victoria in honor of the Queen of England, whose innovative use of hydrogen allows it to make long journeys. The novel immediately became a great public and critical success. In part, this was due to the enormous interest of the African continent of the audience at the time, but also because of the mixture of imaginary travel and solid for the time, scientific information. One of the most famous passages in the novel describes how an elephant tows the balloon across the mountain range known as the Mountains of the Moon. Thanks to this first success, Verne gained the financial security that would allow him to fulfill his dream of becoming a writer. He signed a contract with Pierre Jules Hetzel's publishing house, which was to publish the rest of his works for the next 40 years. It was worth noting as a curiosity that Verne had never ridden in a balloon when he wrote the book and would not do so until years later. More books. Edgar Allan Poe, Alexandre Dumas, again, Victor Hugo. Never heard these names before. How strange. They don't look like they have been dragged here by the sea. Where do they come from? What's going on here? Compagnie Parisienne d'Electricité? That can't be. How does a street light get here? And this writing desk? Again, it's weirdly familiar. That must be the light I saw. Wait a moment. There's something on the ground. A machete. I need something that can help me. Another petroglyph. The symbols are different.
something that can help me. Hmm. I need something that can help me. Oh, I get it. I'm an idiot. Okay. So if we close that and raise this. I need something that can help me. Another petroglyph. The symbols are different. January 8th, uh, what's it, letter 3, the dream. January 8th, he was no sooner landed upon the earth, but he moved forward towards me, with a long spear or weapon in his hand, to kill me. And when he came to a rising ground at some distance, he spoke to me, or I heard a voice so terrible that it is impossible to express the terror of it. And all that I can say I understand was this, seeing all these things have not brought thee to repentance, now thou shalt die. At which words I thought he lifted up the spear that was in his hand to kill me. No one that shall ever read this account will expect that I should be able to describe the horrors of my soul with this terrible vision. I mean, that even while it was a dream, I even dreamed of those horrors. Nor is it any more possible to describe the impression that remained upon my mind when I awake and found it was but a dream. What's this? A door? That wasn't here before. It's jammed. To activate the mechanism, I need the missing blocks. Could the petroglyphs be the answer? A butterfly? Okay. 
Okay, so this one's got a butterfly. Sideways. Uh, a sideways ship? I don't know. Uh, a snake crawling on the ground. <laughs> actually looks more like a caterpillar. know what that is. The butterfly is in the center. There we go. I had to restart in order to interact with those, I figured something had gone wrong, awry. That uh, cloud on the top uh, left there it looks a bit uh, creepy. <laughs> hmm. That must be the light I saw. Wait a moment. There's something on the ground. I'm still broken. I need something that can help me. I think I'm broken. Uh, I checked uh, Discord. I checked Steam discussions, and apparently this is a problem some people have been having. Uh, so I'm undebated if I want to show you the demo or not, uh, because I like where it was going. It's just unfortunate that it broke for me. So 
Uh, thanks for keeping me company. I will be back soon with something else.